Welcome to a presentation today on the North Dakota Protection and Advocacy Project. You will also hear our organization referred to as PNA or Disability Rights North Dakota. Our mission statement is uniting to champion the equality and inclusion of people with disabilities where we live, learn, work, and play. The Protection and Advocacy Project, or PNA, is an independent state agency that protects and advocates for the rights of people with disabilities. As an organization, we do have established priorities that change from year to year to identify the focus of PNA's work. The North Dakota PNA is one of 57 PNAs across the nation that provide similar services to advocate and protect the rights of people with disabilities. PNA provides services to people of all ages, and we also support individuals with any type of disability. Our work is exclusively performed for the person with the disability, and there is no cost for the services that our agency provides. You will see from this slide that PNA provides support and services to individuals with disabilities with a variety of funding sources through either the federal government or through contract dollars from other entities. Many of these programs will focus on specific types of disabilities, such as a developmental disability, mental illness, or traumatic brain injury. Other programs will have specific focus areas, such as assistive technology, access to voting, or our PABS program, which looks to eliminate barriers to employment for people who are receiving Social Security benefits. PNA also has a contract for the Client Assistance Program to ensure that people who are accessing services or who may have concerns regarding services provided by Vocational Rehabilitation or the Centers for Independent Living can access advocacy support to address their concerns. PNA also conducts reviews of representative payees on behalf of the Social Security Administration to ensure that beneficiaries have access to funds and that payee services are meeting client needs consistent with regulations. PNA provides services to individuals with disabilities of all ages, including infants, children, and adults. Funds for program operations are a combination of federal grant monies, along with funds provided by the state of North Dakota. There is currently no cost for services provided by PNA. PNA does implement general eligibility requirements, including that the individual must reside within the state of North Dakota. Eligible individuals must also have a qualifying disability as identified within PNA's various programs. Services provided by North Dakota PNA includes information and referral, as well as information and education to individuals and organizations who may contact PNA for support or assistance. Eligible individuals can receive a variety of services from PNA. If a person requires self advocacy assistance or support in order to address a disability rights issue, advocacy assistance can be provided to do so. If an issue is not resolved through advocacy assistance, advocacy representation can be provided when there is an identified rights violation for that individual. If an issue cannot be resolved through advocacy assistance or advocacy representation, individuals may be eligible for legal representation in these situations. Representation is then provided by a PNA attorney to seek resolution and outcomes regarding that specific disability related rights issue. PNA also provides protective services in order to respond to reports of suspected abuse, neglect, and exploitation. In these situations, PNA may conduct an investigation or do the necessary follow up to ensure resolution of the concern that was identified in the original report received by PNA. PNA does work very closely with Child Protective Services staff and also staff from the State Vulnerable Adult Protective Services Office. 
PNA also provides other services to ensure that the system is strengthened and that there are quality services for people with disabilities. Systems advocacy is provided to address broad concerns regarding disability services and the rights of people with disabilities. We also provide ongoing support to advocacy groups and self-advocacy efforts across the state. PNA staff also engage in legislative and policy work to ensure that we are educating policymakers and others regarding disability related rights issues. On an annual basis, PNA establishes priorities that will be used to drive our services for the coming year. PNA's first area of focus is abuse, neglect, and exploitation, or more commonly referred to as A&E. The focus of these services includes PNA staff conducting investigations when reports have been received of mistreatment or suspected A&E. We also engage in training activities to ensure that provider staff, individuals with disabilities, family members, and others have knowledge of A&E and how to prevent these incidents from happening. PNA also engages in systemic monitoring to ensure that quality services are provided across the various programs that PNA supports and for people with disabilities. PNA provides several focused areas within community inclusion. This includes advocating for people who reside in institutional settings so that they can move into community placements and be successful. PNA also addresses people who are at risk of having to move to more restrictive settings or institutional placements. Another area of community inclusion is educational rights of students with disabilities. PNA's focus areas for the coming year will be to help students obtain positive behavioral supports, advocacy for appropriate transitional services, addressing students who are being placed in overly restrictive settings in order to receive their education, along with seclusion and restraint and denials of 504 or disability related accommodations. PNA will also be focusing on addressing employment discrimination or the right to choose within the area of employment. The first area is to address barriers for people with disabilities so that they're able to obtain and maintain employment. PNA also advocates for comprehensive transition services so that students have the skills necessary to work upon graduation. PNA also will address employment discrimination and reasonable accommodations within work settings to ensure that people are satisfied with employment supports and services. Being able to vote is a fundamental right of all citizens of the United States. As a PNA, we strive to ensure that voters have the ability to vote at accessible polling sites and that they do not experience barriers to be able to vote. PNA's efforts also ensure that voters have information regarding potential changes within the voting system and ensure that their right to vote is afforded to them during all elections. Accessing assistive technology or technology to enhance community inclusion is an area of focus for PNA. PNA will strive to ensure that there is appropriate coverage and services for the AT and will address any inappropriate denials of this service by other entities. For several years now, PNA has had a focus area of criminal and juvenile justice. One of the things that we have found is that individuals with mental illness often need support in order to receive the treatment that they need when they're in correctional facilities. PNA also works with individual justice planning for youth and adults who are at risk or have become involved in the justice systems. Representation for individuals who are part of the forced medication process at the North Dakota State Hospital can also be provided. PNA staff also engage in education and training along with collaboration and work to address systems change. PNA staff also conduct outreach and strive to educate policymakers 
to make good decisions on behalf of North Dakotans. These efforts include training for people with disabilities, family members, service providers, and the public regarding disability rights. There's ongoing collaboration with other partners and efforts to actively influence and advocate for systems change. PNA staff will also routinely conduct outreach so people will have knowledge of disability rights and the services provided by PNA. Throughout these activities, PNA will also educate policymakers regarding disability rights issues to ensure that the system as a whole is strengthened over time. PNA does have nine offices across the state to ensure that all individuals have access and can contact PNA in a timely manner. We do have outreach offices in Williston, Minot, Belcourt, Grand Forks, Grafton, Fargo, Jamestown, and Dickinson. Our state office is located in Bismarck, but all of our offices do have disability advocates to ensure that we're able to work with people effectively and be available for those that need our services.